here's the leadership view. For those people in the room who like Excel spreadsheets, that's how we drew this, right? We put it in, we put it in squared. Boy, I feel better now. It's got a couple of axes, specificity and duration. So this stuff out here is big and general, right? It's not very specific. And as we move down toward benefit realization, it starts to get very specific, right? Short-term achievements, short-term goals. And this set of lines or the arrows that pierce all the way through that, that's you. That's the leadership line because it's your job to continually dr draw people a picture of how what they do aligns with where we wanna go. Because here's the magic, I think, in organizations. Can you get the people in the organization to comprehend that how they do, what they do on a daily basis, takes us where we wanna go? And if you went into your organizations today and said to anybody sitting at any desk or greeting any customer and said, do you know how, how you just handled that particular client helps us achieve our vision, 99% of the people in your organization go, nope, I just, they come in, I hand them pieces of paper, they leave, magic happens somewhere else, right? Think about the power of aligning a workforce around that common whatever, and we'll talk about what that <coughs> looks like. If you don't do that, the people in your organization won't know where you wanna go, and they won't be able to make sense of the daily activities that they're undertaking. And I think the capability that allows you to do this is something really silly and simple. Storytelling, right? Have you, have, you, have you seen the power of storytelling? I don't mean like fantasy stories, like you know, hallucinations, that kind of stuff. But, but the ability to connect the dots for people. Now why is storytelling so important? I'll just throw that out. Why is storytelling so important? I got lots of head nods when I said that. Why? It's personal. I can connect to it. I can see myself there, right? How else? It's usually animated. Yes, there's action, there's a problem, there's a heroine, you know, there's all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah, good. It's usually interactive, or it can be interactive. It's not just somebody shooting out numbers at you or facts or whatever yep. it is. Yep, I can connect with it. It makes it real, it makes it tangible, doesn't it? In fact, uh, in our session yesterday, I told a story and I prefaced it with, I don't even know if this story's true, right? And everybody in the room went, oh, that's a great story. I don't even know if it's a true story, right? And they go, oh, I love that story, right? Why is that? Because human beings keep track of their lives in story form, not in Excel spreadsheets, not in PowerPoint slides. We keep track of our lives in story form. That's why they're so powerful. They're so powerful that the head of strategic planning for 3M Corporation several years ago became so frustrated with his organization because the people in the organization, including the senior team, the executives, could not articulate the strategy of the organization. And so he started committing the strategy of the organization to narrative. Here's the problem. Here's the villain. Here's the challenge that we have to overcome. Here are the obstacles, right? And to a person, they can now recite the strategy of the organization because he took it off the PowerPoint slides, took it out of the Excel spreadsheets, and put it in a form that every human being understands. Stories. They're foundational. They're how we keep track of our lives.